Last week Vice President Kembo Mahadi was quoted essentially justifying the militarization of the Zimbabwean government and suggested that the military were good for the economy because soldiers make good managers. I'm absolutely sure I'm not the only person puzzled by this man's presence in high office. Honestly, what exactly did he do to get the position of vice president? Internet sources say Mahadi is 71 years old, so like a lot of these people in Zanu he is an old man who should be retired. But for someone who is 71 years old and a vice president of a country, there really isn't much of a backstory about this man. During my secondary school studying history of Zimbabwe in particular the liberation struggle, there was no mention of Kembo Mahadi. Come to think of it there was no mention of Nangagwa, Chiwenga and definitely not a whip about Victor Matamadanga. Perhaps, as some people have said, Mahadi may not be the only liberation war investor at the top of the Zimbabwean government. Anyway, the point is that Mahadi seemed to have sprung up from nowhere. I did a Google search about his credentials, and on the site Pindula it says he did not finish his secondary, but there was no mention of him topping up his qualifications at any point since then. Maybe he did, maybe he did not. Perhaps he didn't which is why he made ignorant statements like the ones he made about the military and economics, while grand opening a bridge in Muzarabani. So what exactly did he do to occupy such high office? Even a placeholder should have some sort of interesting backstory. The only notable thing Kembo Mahadi was involved in is that infamous moment that captured the stupidity and backwardness of Zanu, when a bunch of old fools from the party were hoodwinked by an enterprising lady Sangoma, that diesel would come out of a rock. We all watched in astonishment seeing government ministers sitting barefooted, expecting diesel to squirt out of a rock. To sum up, who is Kembo Mahadi? What is so special about this 71-year-old man that he would be vice president of a country? His liberation war credentials are pretty much non-existent. His educational credentials are questionable to say the least, and he has a habit of saying ignorant statements and being present where ignorance is being exposed. I don't know, maybe I am being unfair to the man. After all, the questions I posed about him can be equally posed to several other old men who rule Zimbabwe including the president.